In this lesson, we shall write A as a product of an elementary matrix and an upper triangular matrix given the three by three matrix A with the first row one, zero, negative three, the second row three, negative two, and negative three, the third row zero, zero, and negative two. We present a solution to this problem in a step-by-step -step fashion as follows. Right, now, first things first, we let A, B, 1, 0, negative 3, 3, negative 2, and negative 3, 0, 0, and negative 2. Right, and moreover, we're able to make the observation that this matrix must be reduced to an upper triangular matrix, and this means that we shall have the second row minus three times the first row, one, zero, negative three, and here we have a zero, negative two, and here we get exactly um, negative three times negative three, which gives us a nine minus three, giving us a six, zero, zero, minus two, we have exactly this particular matrix here. And this particular matrix here is actually the required matrix, which is the matrix in upper triangular form. Thus, we can call this matrix U. Thus, U becomes this matrix 1, 0, negative 3, 0, negative 2, 6, 0 zero, negative two, and this one here is an upper, right, is an upper triangular, is an upper triangular matrix, right, so now we continue to, to solve this particular problem, right, as follows, now the couple of things we need to take into account, now that we're able to achieve this matrix, we want to then be in a position to obtain the upper triangular matrix, or rather the elementary matrix that is required. Right. So we have the following. We have the following. Right. So what then we have here is that we actually need to recall that the three by three um, identity matrix is given as follows. So we then say, moreover, moreover, I3, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1. Right. So we continue as follows. We then say that at this point, this matrix can be transformed to um, an elementary matrix by applying one elementary row operation. And the elementary row operation is row two minus three row one. Row two minus three row one. One, zero, zero. Row two minus three row one, which is minus three, one, zero, 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 one. Like so. Okay. Right, we actually therefore have achieved an elementary uh, matrix we can call E1, okay? So now we proceed to solve this particular problem as follows and then say, hence. Right, hence, we have the elementary matrix E1, which actually is one, zero, zero, Right, and there, minus three, one, zero. And then, double, zero, one. Like this. Now, at this point, we have this particular elementary matrix. And what is then the meaning of this here? Right, so hence, we have that this is the elementary matrix that is um, obviously required. But now, there's more to this. 
And what then do we have as a consequence of this? Um, we note that, right, we note that these, we were initially given the matrix A, we applied this um, elementary row operation, meaning we got an elementary matrix and that produced an upper triangular matrix. Right, using algebraic manipulations, we actually have E1 inverse U, E1 inverse E1 A, E1 A, which then means that you have E1 inverse U, which equals A, and this is exactly what we have as an elementary, uh, um, as the elementary matrix inverse times U equals A. What then are we able to achieve out of this? Well, the meaning is that we then have, we then have, so this is the case so that the matrix A is E1 inverse U. And E1 inverse U is actually, therefore, the product of an elementary matrix times uh, the, or an upper triangular matrix there. And this means that we actually, if we're able to uh, write A in this form, would have therefore been in a position to express A as a product of an elementary matrix with an upper triangular matrix. So what we then do right now is to consider the uh, elementary matrix E1. Right. Right, so. Right, so now we have the following. We have the following. So let's consider this particular elementary matrix E1, which is 1, 0, 0, minus 3, 1, 0, and 0, 0, 1. 1, 0, 0, minus 3, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1. So that's E1 is this. And we actually therefore proceed to attempt to find the inverse of this. We need to find the inverse of this elementary matrix, noting that the inverse of an elementary matrix is also an elementary matrix. So we're good. We're good. Row two plus three, row one. Right, we have exactly this here. Then we have a zero, one, zero. Three, one, zero, 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 one, zero, zero, one. Like this. Right, so we therefore would have obtained uh, and uh, we are able to then say, this is the case. So that we obtain, right? What do we obtain? We obtain a new matrix called E1 inverse, which is 1, 0, 0, 3, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1. Right, put a 3, put a 3 here, like so. And this, obviously, the inverse of an elementary matrix is also an elementary matrix as well. Right, so, therefore, therefore, the matrix A, we have already seen that, can be written as E1 inverse U. And what is E1 inverse? E1 inverse is actually the same as 100, 310, 0, 0, 0, 001. It's actually 100, 0, 310, 0, 0, 001. 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0
zero minus two, six. Zero, zero minus two. Okay, so this therefore becomes the matrix A written as a product of elementary an elementary matrix and an upper triangular matrix U. Right, now with this, this should be the answer to the problem. But we need to check. Let us check this. Let us check, is this correct or not? In other words, if, if A, we know very well it's the matrix one, zero, negative three. Three, negative two, negative three. Zero, zero, negative two. If that is the case, then we can be in a position to achieve the inverse of E1, which is 1, 0, 0, 3, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, which is exactly the E1 inverse, and the upper triangular matrix U, which is 1, 0, negative 3, zero, negative two, six, taken exactly from here, zero, zero, negative two. Right, so we have this. We have exactly this here, and so this is the upper triangular matrix minus two with a six here. And therefore, multiply row by column, getting a one here, this by that, getting a zero, this by that, getting minus three, this by that, getting a three, this by that, getting minus two and this by that, getting exactly minus nine plus six, minus three, this by that, getting a zero, this by that, getting a zero, this by that, getting negative two. Okay, we have this. We have exactly that. We have exactly this here. We have exactly this here. We have exactly this. Now, we know therefore that after the multiplication of E inverse U, uh, E1 inverse and U, we're able to get one zero negative three, which is the first row of A, and the second row is the same as the second row of A. And therefore, this confirms that the E1 inverse U is equal to the three by three matrix A. And therefore it means we have been able to uh, solve this problem. We have been able to um, express A therefore as a product of an elementary matrix and an upper triangular matrix. And we have therefore managed to solve this problem step by step. And it is, I mean, obviously the case and uh, obviously, henceforth, right, henceforth, the matrix A can be written as E1 inverse U, right, E1 inverse U, which is exactly the same as, and we know that the E1 inverse is what? 1, 0, 0. Right, and also 3, 1, 0. Zero, zero, one. What is the upper triangular matrix? The upper triangular matrix is one, zero, negative three. Zero, negative two, six. Zero, zero, negative two. So with this then, we say we've been able to write A as a product of an elementary matrix and an upper triangular matrix and we have solved this problem step by step and it is awesome awesome news that we done thanks everybody for watching and goodbye to you